Hi guys, in today's video we're going to look at what is an acid-base titration, how it's done, the indicators used, and finally an exam style question. What exactly is an acid-base titration? Well, a titration is a form of volumetric analysis. That is, we measure the volume of a solution that reacts with a known volume of a second solution. So this known volume of a second solution would be our standard solution. Now we can use this titration, this reaction, to find some unknowns. These unknowns could be the concentration of our solution, the molar mass, the formula, the water crystallization. There really are numerous unknowns that we could find. Now the, there are specific calculations that we would use for each of these, each of these cases. And we'll go into those in a bit further depth in another video specifically dedicated to the calculations we can do from titrations. So, how is titration done? Well, let's break it down into steps. First of all, you'd use a pipette to add a measured volume of X to a conical flask. Then you would add an indicator to X in the flask. Now, the choice of indicator is important. It must change colour, but we'll have a little bit of a look at that later on in this video. We now place the other solution y in a burette now the burette is separate to um our flask it's a separate piece of apparatus our burette will be mounted on a stand so then we will place our conical flask under our burette and add slowly y from the burette into x until the end point occurs now we'll know the end point occurs as the color change will have taken place as indicated by our indicator we now measure out the volume of y that has been added and it's important that this volume of Y that has been added, we don't just do one titration and take that value because we might be slightly wrong. So what we do is we'll repeat our titration multiple times until we get concordant results. Now that's results that agree with each other and fall within a certain amount of decimal places. So they're sort of supporting each other in their accuracy. Then we'll use those results to calculate our unknowns. So let's have a little look at the indicators that we might use. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.